Good morning and welcome to the Breakfast Biscuit. It is Tuesday, September the 26th, 2023 uh, and 6.05 a.m. And this morning we are in Proverbs chapter 25. We'll be looking at verse 28 and the title of the Breakfast Biscuit is untenable. You don't hear that word a lot anymore, but it's a great word, untenable. And untenable, according to the dictionary, means not able to be maintained or defended against attack or objection. Not able to be uh, maintained or defended against attack or objection. In other words, if a position, a doctrine, a belief is untenable, it won't stand up to scrutiny, uh, much less to adversity. Which brings us to Proverbs chapter 25, verse 28. Here is a completely untenable situation. Like a city that is broken into and without walls is a man who has no control over his spirit. Like a city that is broken into and without walls is a man who has no control over his spirit. Cities in the ancient world uh, had walls for defense and controlling ingress and egress. Nations typically have borders for defense, definition, and controlling ingress and egress. Many in our nation wonder what is going on with the lack of a southern border and the unchecked infusion of illegal immigrants being allowed to come into the country and subsidized by a government to whom they have sworn no allegiance. I started to do some research about how many Ill illegal aliens are coming into this country daily, but here's what I learned. It appears that no one knows. If anyone knows, they're not telling. If they're telling, they're not telling the truth. Why bother to research it? We have the means as a nation to stop this, and we're not doing it. So there has to be a reason, and it can't be a good one, because it is having a terrible effect. It seems difficult to have a country and to preserve its political and governmental stability without a border, which would serve well as one of the only plausible explanations for not having one. A nation or city without controls, without borders, is in trouble. And the Bible says a man with no control over his spirit is likewise in trouble. Have you ever heard someone described as having a bad temper? It makes people avoid you. And such people often do and say things that are destructive and counterproductive because they cannot think critically and control their own behaviors accordingly. Have you ever seen someone who was a slave to alcohol? Have you ever seen one, someone who is a slave to sex, a slave to a dollar bill? There is no joy, only heartache, for someone who has no control over his or her spirit. But there is one who can give such control, and his name is the Holy Spirit. But the fruit, Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23 say this, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, or long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. You and I may not be able to solve the issues of the southern border, but together with the Holy Spirit and the power of prayer, we can solve the issues of self-control in our own lives. Let it be so. Let me pray for you. Father, we come to you this morning to uh, lift up our nation. We don't understand the things that we see around us. We're alarmed by them, and yet we seem powerless uh, as individuals to do anything to help or to stop it. Lord, have mercy on us. Father, today, as we uh, live our lives as individual followers of you, we pray that we would always be people who manifest self-control as a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Father, we pray as borders and walls control ingress and egress, we pray that your Holy Spirit would control ingress and egress to what's in our minds, our hearts, our souls, and our spirits for your glory and for the blessing of your people. Lord, we love you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you. I'm praying for you. 
and I'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning. God bless you.